Good morning, everyone. Five Farley here, March 2nd. Got a college basketball best bet coming to you in just one second off a win yesterday. Uh, nice win at home with uh, Stanford off a win the day before that. Uh, clean sleep of the, sweep of the weekend. Um, and uh, excited to get you another best bet here on a shorter slate before we got uh, conference tournaments kicking off, which is like, that's my favorite time. I love the conference tournaments. I think we got some great angles to come in at when it comes to uh, capping, way to capitalize and build the bankroll. So uh, uh, speaking of building the bankroll, the streak finally ends on the NBA. 11 straight wins. Um, all my plays over on patreon.com slash Farley. 11 straight uh, here since the All-Star break, 22-6. and six. Uh, It's been a great run. Um, now, that said, after losing... The one game ended up coming back with two straight winners. So two and one yesterday in NBA, two and one college basketball, a nice four and two day uh, posted. So speaking of, you know, if you're not familiar with patreon.com slash Farley, I, here's what I have over there. Um, I have a couple tiers. And so the first tier is to just get my daily best bet. It's posted already over there for those of you who are on that. Second one is to... Um, is to get an additional play outside of the daily best bet. The third is for one more play on top of that. And then the fourth would be to get all my plays, NBA, college, the whole nine yards. So, um, you know, if you're interested, feel free to go over there. It's really minor when it comes to uh, cost for those. But uh, for those who want more content, that's where you can get it all. It's down in the comments. You can check that out. All right, now let's talk about today. So we got North Carolina Central uh, hosting... Bethune-Cookman uh, coming into town. These two teams have already duked it out. Bethune-Cookman uh, getting the worst of it. Uh, North Carolina Central with a 59-86 victory, so that's a 27-point win uh, in Bethune. Now, everyone knows North Carolina Central. Great home dominance, equal to that of Norfolk this year. They're a perfect 10-0 at home, 7-0 uh, against the spread in conference. So really showing some home court dominance. They're getting their guys back. C.J. Keezer has been huge um, since he's come back. Uh, they've been close to unstoppable. Now, I do have one concern. I'm going to throw a uh, quick pro and con here. Uh, pros, great home court advantage. Pros, uh, perfect against the spread. Um, other pros, they're healthy. Got the starting core together. Um, but I will say this. They just come out of an overtime game against South Carolina State, and they go uh, the, the the conference is up for grabs as long as North Carolina A and T wins their game today against South Carolina State. So if they win that game, it's all coming down to next uh, uh, comes down to what is that the fifth is going to be uh, for the conference uh, championship. So they both uh, North Carolina A and T and North Carolina Central have the same record. And uh, so this could be a little bit of an oversight. Hopefully one of these teams don't slip up and we got a great match up there uh, to wrap up the season. Now, Bethune-Cookman has uh, struggled a little bit on the road, losing to teams like uh, Maryland Eastern Shore, uh, Florida A&M, decent team. Um, they've, they've slipped up a couple times. Of course, Norfolk, Norfolk uh, tough team to win at. Um, but in the years past, Bethune has really struggled winning at North Carolina Central. In fact, they've yet to do it. And the closest they, game they've had was within nine, was a nine-point loss. The next closest was 15. Every other game beyond that has been 20 to 30-plus points uh, at North Carolina Central. This is not a place they've been good at. Um, and here we get a line at just five. It opened up at three and a half. It's now been pushed up to five. Um, I, think, I don't think this is the year that they're going to come through uh, with a first-place North Carolina Central team and uh, be within that five points. The only way that's going to happen is if North Carolina is looking ahead to that in North Carolina A&T game. So um, don't think that's going to be the case. I'm going to grab the five with Bethune. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to lay the five with North Carolina Central. Hopefully you clarify it. I'm going to lay the five with North Carolina Central at home to get the job done here to stay undefeated at home. Um, and continue the dominance they've had over Bethune over the last uh, six years. So uh, give me North Carolina Central Eagles minus five at home daily best bet. Good luck, everyone. We'll see you again soon.